Hello humans, today I'm going to show you how I made this super easy, super crunchy coconut chips and the best part is I didn't use an oven. So if you want to see how I made it, let's get started. So first thing, I cut off my coconut and I'm sharpening my knife. The reason why I'm doing that is you want to use a very sharp knife so you can get very thin slices. So I'm getting in there as thin as I can, as thin as I can, humanly can. Um, if you don't want to use a knife, you have another option. You can actually use the slicing attachment of the grater. That works really well. Um, so you have those two options available to you. I prefer the knife though because you can get longer, longer slices rather than uh, shorter ones that you get from the grater, but that's an option. So here I have an empty non-stick pan. There's absolutely nothing in it. There's no oil. All you need is a non-stick pan. No need to add anything in it. And I'm pouring in my sliced coconut into the pan. And I'm basically going to allow that to toast evenly. Now, the best thing you should do is go low and slow. You want to toast your coconut on very low heat. You don't want high heat because high heat will make it burn. As you will notice in mine, I had a little bit of burns because I was impatient and I had um, my heat was actually quite high. Um, it will take you so much longer if you use lower heat, but it is ultimately better. So I switched to a spatula to be able to, um, so that I can make it easier for me to flip and turn it over itself this is a lot of patience it probably took me about 20 minutes to do this on high heat if you do it on low heat it will probably take you anything between 45 minutes to an hour and after that that's done i didn't sweeten it you can sweeten it towards the end you can add some honey some cinnamon but i wanted it plain because i used it in another recipe and that's basically how to make coconut chips without an oven bye